What is up, YouTube? And happy Memorial Day to each and every one of you guys. Welcome to another DVD and Blu-ray update. This is my uh, first DVD update in a while in May. And I have a ton of stuff to show, so let's get to it. I, this is a lot of stuff that I either bought or I found. And the DVDs were definitely in good condition. And first, I want to show you the... This is I got 7 out of 10 of the seasons of the, of the 90s hit show... Friends, this is the first season, complete season on DVD. I found this. So I'm not even kidding. Somebody was throwing it out, and I was like, oh, wait. I can see. I, I checked the discs, and most of them are in really good shape, and I'll keep it. Yeah, for nostalgia, why not? I mean, I saw some episodes of Friends a long time ago. I don't remember them. But uh, now that I have it on DVD, I, you know, I could go back and watch these. This is the first season. Here's a complete second season. And all these actors are very likable, very good actors. Uh, Jennifer Aniston, Matt LeBlanc, Courtney Cox, uh, Matthew Perry, uh, David Schwimmer, and, and uh, Lisa Kudrow. All really good actors, very funny, and did other stuff after this. This is season three. And I'm glad that I got, you know... Uh, I got I found these and it's great that there's some of the boxes got some damage and wear and tear, but they're in good condition. This is season four. Yeah, they're sleeping in the back, yeah. Except for Rachel. And uh there's a lot of stuff on here, even the special features. They didn't skip on that. I know there's a Blu-ray box set that has the entire series, all 240 episodes. Tons of features, tons of documentaries and such. That would be awesome to get. I wish somebody could send it for me. It's like $200 at Best Buy. I'm like, it's too much. But it's worth it if you're a fan, friend, fan of the Friends show. I skipped season five. I don't have it. But I found season six of Friends. This was much later. I believe this was like in the early 2000s. Or late, like 1999. Yeah. This is when Phoebe was fat, you know. This is uh, the complete seventh season. It's cool. There's a purple box. Um, and uh, it says, now with footage you've never seen. Of course, because most of these TV shows, when they're in syndication, they cut some scenes out, like they did with ALF. Over here in the, in the States, they, they, they give us the uh, syndicated versions of ALF. But I like to see the entire episode, like all the footage, all the laughs, all the scenes, you know, everything in one go. And uh, this has it, so... This is really cool. I'm glad I, I found all this. And this is the last season, season 10, in a standard DVD box. And this was a very emotional season and how the show ended. And uh, the ending, I love the ending with, you know, the spoiler alert, you know, uh, Ra Ross and Rachel get together. It's amazing. And it was one of the best finales I've ever seen. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I was going to show the disc, but that would take a long time. This is uh, the DVDs. They're in good condition. I have a lot of entertainment now to watch all summer. So I can't say in the summer I'm bored because I have a ton of uh, shows and movies to watch. So that was the DVDs of the shows that I found. Next, I got this uh, for three bucks at Kmart. Uh, it's it's a it's a movie that was not not you know successful at the box office. I know this is when uh, sh this girl was trying to change her image after you know uh, Hannah Montana got off the air. But I'm gonna give it a chance. Love this girl. Love her voice. So Undercover with Miley Cyrus. This is also has uh, Jeremy Piven. I like him too. And uh, she's cute here. This is, you know, the year before she cut her hair blonde and went with Liam Hensworth and started going, ah, I know. It's an act. You know, a lot of these celebrities do that for attention. But I like Miley. I think she's a cutie pie. Uh, you know, I'm glad that she's still around. Um, I know she's a bag of nuts now. But hey, you know, people change. That's the way it is. But uh, for three bucks, I... Couldn't go wrong with this. It's 94 minutes, and I want to give it a chance. And uh, Miley's a cutie. I know I can't hate that face. I know a lot of people do, but I don't. Next, I found these two DVDs. I found them at uh, uh, near Coney Island. I was walking by, and I saw I went to a, 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 par a public bench, and these two DVDs were just sitting there. And I was like, whoa, these DVDs are rare. I never heard of these movies. And one of them is a 70s film with uh, the great late Peter O'Toole, and that is The Stuntman. This is a movie I've never heard of. Uh, this is a, a, uh, 
an Anchor Bay release of the movie. I've never heard of this movie. It's um from 1979. It's got a ton of features. It's got an audio commentary with the director and uh, deleted scenes and original production art and a complete screenplay and a DVD ROM. But you know that's for like computers and such. But this was a good i this was a good uh, DVD to find. Such a rare movie. I never heard of it. There's a disc. Not too fond of the the uh, image in the front, but I'm going to give the film a chance. Next, this is a, com uh, a kind of a crime comedy with a, uh, it's got a huge cast. Sean Connery, Dustin Hoffman, and Matthew Broderick in Family Business. Never heard of this movie. It's from the late 80s. It was in 1989, so when I was four. And uh, it's it's pretty interesting because I, I would love to see these uh, obscure comedies, crime dramas or whatever, you know, the, from the 80s that I missed. And these are really terrific actors. Connery, uh, Hoffman, and uh, and Broderick, but they're still around, thank God. And, uh, yeah, no features. So this says DVD special features is bullshit. There's just trailers and subtitles and surround sound, no features at all. But I'm willing to give it a chance. It was in good condition. I don't know why people throw out these things. One man's trash is another man's treasure. I'm a collector. I will collect obscure movies and see them when I can, especially when they're free. It is kind of long. It's 113 minutes, so that's probably going to be kind of long in the tooth, but I will see it soon. Next, uh, uh, Best Buy, uh, not, not Best Buy, uh, Dollar Tree had a sale that a lot of people went to... Uh, it was a dollar for DVDs and Blu-rays galore. There was a bunch of random titles, and I picked up a bunch of them, a handful, as many as I could, and uh, I got them, so I'm going to show you them right now. Here's See You in Valhalla with the gorgeous uh, Sarah Hyland. I, I like her. I've never seen an episode of Modern Family. Don't give a shit because uh, I hate Sofia Vergara. I can't stand her, her accent and her voice, but this is a film that Sarah Hyland did without her co-stars from Modern Family. It also has a bunch of unknowns. It's got uh, Steve Howey, never heard of him, Ode Yarush, Brett Harrison, Emma Bell, I know her. She was in um, Final Destination 5 and Frozen, the uh, 2009, uh, uh, 2010 film Frozen, not the Disney movie. Uh, Jake McDormand, I like that guy. I know his show uh, Limitless got canceled. I'm sorry, dude. Um, I, you were great in that show. I wish you well. I hope you do another show soon. Uh, Boo Murkoff, never heard of him, Michael Weston, and Connor O'Farrell. Kind of an obscure cast, a few familiar faces, but I'm willing to give it a chance. For Sarah Hyland, I did like her in Geek Charming. I think she's a beautiful young lady. I'm glad that she survived, you know, her, her uh, kidney failure. You know, I, I want to see more of her for a very long time. Such a beautiful actress. You're so beautiful. Next is another film, and this is a sports drama, The Squeeze. I like the cast. It's got uh, Jeremy Sumter. It's got Chris, Christopher McDonald. Jillian Murphy. Uh, not Murphy. Jillian Murray. Beautiful chick right there. And uh, Michael Norrie. So pretty decent cast. No features. But for a dollar, I can't go wrong. And it's short. It's only 95 minutes. So even if it ends up being, you know, like, eh, at least it only cost me a buck. So not too bad. Next is a, uh, this is a action, uh, a thriller western from 2013 and it got some decent reviews and i like this actress i don't care what anybody says about x-men first class i do not hate this actress she was born the month i was born i love her i love the, her face uh and it's it's january jones in sweetwater yeah never heard of this movie but i like january jones i never saw mad men but i want to see it sometime because the show ended like a little while ago uh, I, I liked her in American Wedding. I thought she was one of the new stars that I thought she was gorgeous. She, she's an angel. I don't understand why Hollywood just wants to run her into the ground. I will give her more pass than the hobo with a stick. Like I said, she's a real woman. This is a woman in her 30s. Sexy, talented, a nice soft voice. And look at that face. That is a beautiful face. This also has uh, Ed Harris, really good actor from... The Abyss, uh, Jason Isaacs, you know, you've seen him from Harry Potter and uh, Peter Pan from 2013. Eduardo Norega, some Spanish guy I never heard of. And uh, Jason Aldean. 
But I'm willing to give this movie a chance. I like January Jones. I think she's capable. First class, it says she sucked as Emma Frost because she, she was just sexy and that's it. But in another role, I think she can pull it off. See American Wedding. She's very natural, beautiful, and she's not trying so hard to be sexy. See, some women think they have to mess their face up with surgery to be sexy. Just be yourself. You know, for me, you don't have to try so hard. Just take a shower because I like women that smell good. You know, do your clean your hair. Fit, you know, you could put a little makeup if you want and uh, and be yourself. You know, just don't don't do something to please a man to, you know, with your with, you know, try too hard. Be yourself. And uh, January Jones is being herself. And I like her. And I think she's going to be awesome in this. And uh, it's a Sundance film. So I like see I like other stuff avant garde film cinema too because i don't just watch mainstream stuff i watch a lot of obscure stuff and it's really good really really good stuff i've seen Cannes film films and sundance films and independent movies in ifc and uh films at the film forum yeah cinema is sacred to me and when this when when it's worth a buck hey this should be interesting and like to like i said again january jones i do like her i am a fan of her Next, I got this Blu-ray uh, at Best Buy. I got it for three bucks, and because uh, I had a five-dollar uh, gift certificate, and I used it, and that is a good, really good Resident Evil movie, Resident Evil Damnation, an original CG motion picture. This was awesome, and it follows the game to a freaking T. You got all the uh, most of the creatures from the game. You got Leon Kennedy being a badass, like in Resident Evil two and four. You got great looking CG. The CG is amazing in this movie. It looks like a freaking Pixar movie, literally. It's like, but with realistic faces. It's like a really kick-ass anime. It's got tons of gore. Like, there is more gore here than in Deadpool. And that's saying a lot. But it was awesome. I got this for 3 bucks on Blu-ray. It was $7.99. I got it for $3. And, uh, you know, it was uh, directed by a Japanese guy. Right choice. They know how to do, they know how to do anime right. They you, you watch. Uh, have you ever seen a Hayao Miyazaki anime? You can tell that man knows what he's doing, and uh, it feels like the game. It's gory. The story's very straightforward. There were some Russian guys that thought were kind of like eh, but Leon and Ada Wong are awesome in the movie. The gore's awesome. The action's awesome, and it's it goes by. It has a fast pace, and it's a good Resident Evil movie. More than we're getting next year with the final chapter. Yeah, bullshit. It's probably going to be another three films after that, but. Who knows? This is a good one, though. Definitely enjoyed this. And the last but not least is the last Blu-ray I got at Dollar Tree. Well, this is the code. I don't want you guys seeing that. And it is a comedy, a dramedy with uh, Tina Fey and with Ant-Man himself, Paul Rudd, who I really like this actor. I want to see more of him because he's so charming. Admission. Yeah, I, even if this movie ends up sucking, hey, like the two actors, it, um, it has only one feature, not much for features, but... Uh, I I, th I think, you know, these two are funny. I like Tina Fey in Date Night, and she wrote the script to uh, Mean Girls, really good writer. Uh, Paul Rudd, like I said, awesome Ant-Man. He has a great sense of humor. The guy has this charm that he's like a, a younger Robert Downey Jr. And, uh, you know, and who knows? This may surprise me. I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, I have three copies of it, so I scored a big one for that. So that's all the stuff I got, guys. It was a great Memorial Day for me. Uh, I got to see Alice through the Looking Glass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say this: I really enjoyed it, and I will give you a review next time. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. My massive DVD and Blu-ray update. I got a lot of stuff to watch. Well, except for Resident Evil, I saw that already. But I got a lot of stuff to watch the rest of spring and the summer. It's gonna be awesome. Gonna get more stuff at the flea market on in June. So take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.